Roll here. call, please. Mary Kodowski. Here. Gary Paul. Here. Ken Bukowski. Here. Mike Skippington. Ooh, here. James Allen is excused. Corey Campbell. Here. Allison Williams is delayed. Please stand for the pledge. And please remember our men and women throughout the country and world in uniform. Okay, I have no changes to the agenda. Move to approve. Second. Motion and a second to approve the agenda. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. Action on the minutes from the Plan Commission special meeting March 26, 2019. Motion to approve. And a second it. Motion and a second to approve those minutes. All those in favor say aye. 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 Are there any comments from the public? Must be limited to items not on the agenda. Is there any public that would like to talk on an item not on the agenda? One more time. Any comments of items not on the agenda? Okay, moving forward. 7A, action regarding Brown County Expo Center planned unit development, PUD, for parcels VA-41-6, VA-41-7, and VA-42, not including the Hudson Center. Mr. Aaron. Thank you. Uh, the requested uh, planned unit development, or PUD, uh, request is for the Brown County Expo Center. The PUD is necessary to accommodate certain uh, deviations from our standard codes for uh, such things as signage and landscaping. Uh, due to the rapid pace with which the uh, design and build uh, is planned and is being executed to accommodate the uh, schedules, uh, the PUD before you is, um, it's not necessarily complete. <laughs> it is, um, the point where we felt comfortable bringing it before you with the elevations, the plaza uh, depiction, so on and so forth. A couple of things I want to point out on the uh, elevations is that the exterior of the, of the uh, uh, planned expo center facing Armed Forces Drive is primarily uh, glass uh, along with some uh, uh, brick and uh, metal panels with concealed fasteners, of course. The elevation facing Oneida Street uh, also has a uh, large glass area, uh, as well as additional uh, brick uh, and uh, similar type materials, uh, metal panels as well. The north elevation facing Lombardi Avenue was the focus of discussion at Site Plan Review Committee today. Uh, they did have a concern regarding uh, seeing additional landscaping or screening to help screen the, uh, basically it's the backup house functions uh, of the Expo Center. Uh, unfortunately, because the Expo Center does have uh, three exposed sides to the roads, one side does have to facilitate the backup house uh, facilities. So site plan committee did want to see some additional landscaping uh, and or screening to help soften the uh, view from Lombardi Avenue and the uh, Green Bay neighborhood to the north. The PUD as proposed uh, does identify a few conditions of approval. Uh, few of which I will list off here. And they also do address uh, to a degree the uh, site plan concerns regarding the additional landscaping, so on and so forth. Uh, one of the conditions of approval, uh, approval and recordation of a certified survey map for the site combining and creating two lots. What you see there outlined in yellow uh, are the three parcels currently. There's a CSM that I just uh, received today uh, in a draft form that will combine those three parcels and create a lot two in the northwest corner uh, of the property to facilitate future private development on the site, potentially a hotel. Uh, you see VA-42 extends to the south to the Hudson Center. The certified survey map will actually uh, bisect VA-42, so uh, the Hudson Center will have its own parcel uh, in the future. So the PUD does encompass the proposed Expo Center and Resch Center. In terms of additional conditions, uh, because the, the PUD and site plan is somewhat fluid at this point because of the, uh, the pace at which it needs to be developed, uh, we will expect a detailed uh, PUD amendment when the signage package is ready. 
Uh, it's likely that it will not comply with our standard village ordinances. And quite honestly, a expo center uh, building of this type would have a hard time meeting our standard requirements just because of its uh, scale and, and mass. Uh, along with that, a detailed PUD amendment for final landscape plan uh, to address both the site plan review committee concerns and provide more detail in, on the uh, types, species, and final locations uh, of the uh, proposed landscape. One thing I do want to point out with the uh, landscape plan is that it will also address in more detail the plaza area uh, to the uh, in front, uh, the Armed Forces Drive elevation of the uh, uh, Expo Center. The Veterans Memorial, Memorial that is in place right now will remain in that location. It's not going to be moved. Uh, it will remain in that spot. And they will, they're trying to create some sort of accommodation to uh, create additional space for uh, recognition for the veterans. They are currently somewhat running out of space with the uh, brick pavers. So they're trying to figure out a way to really accommodate additional uh, name recognition uh, for that project. Uh, in terms of engineering conditions, uh, continue to coordinate with the Village of Eschwaben on public works regarding utilities and other pertinent activities. Uh, stormwater, continue to coordinate with Village of Eschwaben on public works regarding erosion control and stormwater management. Uh, public safety, maintain communication with public safety regarding any proposed changes to any and all site plan topics discussed during previous meetings, such as fire department access, hydrant placement locations, FTC, Knox box, et cetera. We did have a lengthy conversation or meeting with uh, Wisconsin Department of Safety and Public Sur uh, Professional Services uh, regarding uh, life safety, uh, as well as uh, Ash Robin on Public Safety was involved in that meeting as well. Uh, it was a lengthy meeting in a small conference room with a lot of people, but a lot of good information was uh, doled out. A few additional uh, conditions of approval, again, deal with landscape uh, from forestry. Uh, substitute another species for the showy mountain ash proposed in the plans, uh, such as snow-capped Japanese tree lilac or uh, select calorie pear. And also the streetscape plantings to match the existing plantings on Armed Forces Drive in terms of species. These conditions will also be further uh, refined in the uh, planned landscape PUD amendment, which will come before site plan review, uh, plan commission, and village board for the PUD amendment. Uh, sometime in the future, probably late summer, early fall would be my anticipated time frame for that. Uh, Bike and Ped did have a uh, recommendation for including bicycle parking uh, somewhere in the plaza area near the entrance, which I think in this area certainly makes sense. Uh, Mr. Patrick Skalecki with Grafe uh, as the applicant on behalf of uh, Brown County and the uh, CDA is in the audience. If you have any specific questions uh, related to anything in the packet, I'm sure you'd be happy to answer them. Otherwise, I could answer also the uh, more general questions. Did you say you, you're looking at a hotel on the northwest corner? That's, it's conceptual at this point. Uh, we want to make sure that we reserve. Uh, it's about 120 by 420 uh, parcel on that northwest corner for private development. We felt that there's a, uh, a market that could really fill that, and if we can gather some private development on the site, it'd be to the benefit of the, uh, the overall project. Where the parking lot is? Correct. Yeah, where the uh, old, well, the Hall of Fame building is right now. Okay, northeast. Oh, just, oh, go ahead, go ahead, Corey. Uh, no, go ahead. I was, I was just gonna say, uh, Gary, Paul is a member of the Site Plan Review Committee and Mary is, and they were at a, and I was there too, I'm not a member of the committee, but the Site Plan Review Committee did a very long discussion on, on this issue this afternoon, and it, it will come back to them and, um, and back here, and the gentleman uh, representing the architects was, was at the meeting, and he knows what the, uh, one, at least one of the major concerns is, and that's the landscaping along Oneidas, um, Lombardi, and uh, they're going to take a look at that. So um, if there are no, uh, can, any other questions, Gary? Ken, one, yeah. one question, sure. uh, or uh, question. Uh, Aaron, at the site plan committee, we had conditions and uh, uh, understandings that certain things could change within the development of that, which would be coming to the, back to the site plan. Is that also hold true here? 
with some of the issues that uh, pertain to the uh, plan board that they would come back here to be approved? Yes, Does it this will. project move? I know you want to get these uh, uh, parcels combined into uh, a PUD, which is the reason we're here. The other things are recommendations that would come back to us in the event that they needed some, that they're going to do some adjustments to what they're asking for right now. That's correct. The, uh, so okay. any site plan or the uh, landscape plan, for instance, needs to be refined uh, beyond what was submitted. Uh, signage will need to be really developed uh, in a package for the uh, uh, POD amendment, which will come before site plan, uh, plan commission, and village board uh, for review. Okay. All right. Okay, Ken, go ahead. Well, I'll, I'll make a motion. I'd like to speak after the motion, if you don't mind. Uh, Madam Chair, I'd like to recommend approval of the PUD zoning overlay for parcels VA 41, excuse me, 48-41, VA-41-6, VA-41-7, and VA-42, not including the Hudson Center, with staff conditions that have been described very well by, by Aaron. Do we have a second? Second. Okay, we have a, a motion and a second, but Corey, you had a comment? Um, I, I don't. No? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Ken. The, the only comment I had, Mary, during during a site plan, these, they were called monuments along Lombardi, and there were three mm -hmm. indentations. Remember that? Mm-hmm. I, 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 I don't see that, frankly. I'm not going to raise the big issue about it now, but... If we're spending money to go around those three, I, I just, I, sorry, I don't agree with that. But, uh, well, that's a matter for the, for the future, but I'm just throwing it out there that I just, I just don't agree with that at all. Well, Ken, those are just in indentations around the sidewalk. Right. That's all I don't, amounts to I don't think there's any think additional an cost to go around those. And those, those monuments were put in and hand dug. I don't think that they can be removed. Well, but. The, the the indentations are for those three, aren't they for They're those three? They're already there. Monuments? They're already there. I know. I, 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 they can always be removed. I mean, there's always something you can do to take those out of there. I just can't see spending money to, to go around those monuments. I, I, that's just something I don't agree with. That's all. I just wanted to bring it up. Okay. Did you want to address that, Pat? Uh, I would just like to say just two quick comments. One is uh, you're correct that essentially we're not impacting them, we're going around them, but it's not going to be a cost impact because we're effectively leaving the area around them as is. We will be landscaping up to them to provide that screening element and also just to make that connection between the sidewalk and the site, um, you know, decorative and being able to provide that aesthetic value. But there isn't a cost impact to work around those elements. Pat, you by any chance didn't take care of the the addressing of the uh, of the uh, landscape on Lombardi Avenue between site plan and now, did you? No. <laughs> Just in my head. <laughs> okay. Okay. Any other comments? No. Okay, so we have a motion and a second to recommend approval of the PUD zoning overlay for parcels VA-41-6, VA-41-7, and VA-42, not including the Hudson Center with staff conditions. Any more discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Okay, B, action regarding amending the phase two planned unit development overlay zoning district for certain land located at Lombardi Avenue and Marley Lane, Titletown District Development. Mr. Aaron. The requested PUD amendment for the Titletown phase two development is to allow for the addition of a fifth floor uh, on top of the podium for the proposed office building. The office building is currently approved, uh, has approval for four floors. Uh, office demand uh, on the site uh, provided the opportunity to add a fifth floor uh, to the office building. Now the office building will be located on the, be the northwest uh, part of the development, uh, close to 
up against uh, Mar close to Marley and uh, Lombardi. Uh, Mr. Michael Cantor of uh, Sterling Development is in the audience if you have any questions for him specifically. Uh, otherwise, I'm happy to uh, answer any questions uh, uh, in more general terms. Any questions? The, the impact of another floor uh, is not going to change the parking, the traffic flow, et cetera, et cetera. It's all been, that's all been taken into consideration. The parking calculation was redone, and uh, it does demonstrate that the parking, uh, there's some additional parking uh, that will be needed uh, that's being accommodated through. There was a little bit of extra they had to, um, to use up yet. So they had an excess amount of parking. This will bring them up to that amount. And they also reduced the number of apartment units on the build on the site from 150 to 145, which balanced out and created the uh, necessary parking stalls for the fifth floor. And this has no impact on uh, Austin Straubel flight pattern going up another floor? They will need to get approval from uh, Austin Straubel for the fifth floor, but they do have approval for the fourth floor already. Uh, Aaron, I'm a little behind on this, but the fifth floor will be used for uh, uh, leasing purposes of offices and whatever they prefer to do? That's correct. The roof on top of the fifth floor then will be an outdoor patio area. That's where I was confused, because I knew there was a patio up there someplace. Okay, so that's a pot on top of the fifth floor. Correct. Okay. Uh, Aaron, that picture that I, I lost it now, but it, I counted it, it said it was up six stories. Is that picture wrong in there? They actually, that's the backside. So if you look at it from Marley, it's six from Marley, it's five from the podium. So it's four from the podium right now, so we counted five from the podium uh, this, this time as well. Yeah, thank you. Okay, any more questions? Okay, I'll entertain a motion. Move to approve the amendment to the Plan Unit Development Overlay Zoning District Ordinance, permitting a fifth floor above the podium, increase in leasable square footage and increased minimum parking requirement as contained in item 7B. Second it. Okay, we have a motion and a second, exactly what Ken said. Are there any, are there any conditions we need to add, Aaron? No? No, okay. uh, the, uh, the items are spelled out actually in the uh, draft ordinance okay. that you have there. All right, thank you. Okay, any more questions? Okay, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. 7C, action regarding the preliminary plat of the townhouses of Brookwood Drive. Mr. Aaron, you're the, up again. Yeah, the requested, uh, the requested uh, preliminary plat is for uh, a process by which we're basically combining all the individual parcels uh, along Brookwood Drive into a series of larger parcels to accommodate the development of the townhomes on both the uh, north and the south side of Brookwood Drive. As it currently stands, those are still individual parcels and of course the new townhomes cannot cross parcel boundaries. So the preliminary plat uh, and the final plat for that matter, next agenda item, will combine those parcels into, individ into larger uh, parcels to accommodate the building of the uh, townhomes. There are a few conditions uh, for the preliminary plat. Um, uh, very minor technical uh, issues. Uh, zoning district notation on the face of the plat should be revised to reflect the adopted PUD ordinance and read zoning per Ashwaubenon on PUD ordinance 011-1-18. Call all public street dedications as dedicated to the public or DTTP on the plat map in details. And then add Fox to the legal description to reflect the following west side of the Fox River in the opening sentence of the legal description on the face of the plat. So again, very minor technical uh, survey type issues. Okay. Uh, Aaron, are there any height problems there? No, nope, there are not. We're all in, in good shape there. That was all approved as part of the uh, Title Town Phase Two PUD. Okay. So for the, uh, are you talking about the townhomes, Gary? Yes. Okay. Yep, that was all approved as part of the uh, Phase 2 PUD. Okay. So that was previously approved. 
All right. Um, okay. I'll move. I don't have the right terminology in front of me. I'll move to approve the uh, townhouse. Uh, what am I going to call it? Preliminary plat. Preliminary plat for the townhouse on uh, Brookwood Drive. Second. <clears throat> okay. I, I need to ask. Um, does that include the recommendations? Yes. As outlined in the green sheet. <clears throat> yes, yes. Okay. Okay, so we have a motion and a second to recommend approval of the um, preliminary plat for the townhomes with the staff with the conditions as listed in the green sheet. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. D. Action regarding the final plat of the townhouses of Brookwood Drive. Formalities, formalities. Aaron, you're up again. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> uh, as you mentioned, this is more of a formality. Um, again, we're, it's, this is the final step of combining those parcels into uh, individual par or larger parcels for the townhomes. Uh, in order to record it, you'd have a final plat uh, adopted uh, by the uh, village board. Uh, similar technical, very minor uh, technical conditions of approval um, include uh, add fox to the legal description to reflect the following west side of the Fox River in the first part of the legal description on the face of the plat. On page two, change the Brown County Plan Commission certification to remove the chairperson and recording secretary blocks and replace them with Dan Teeters, senior planner. Number three, change the Ashwaubenon Village Board approval certification to subdivision plat from certified survey map. Number four, add the name Mary Karduski to the Ashwaubenon Village President Certification. Number five, revise the Ashwaubenon Village Clerk title to Ashwaubenon Village Clerk Treasurer and add the name Patrick Moynihan, Jr. And number six, revise the Village Treasurer Certification to reflect the Village of Ashwaubenon and the townhouses of Brookwood Drive Platte. Also change City Treasurer to Village Clerk Treasurer and add the name Patrick Moynihan, Jr. Okay. Move to approve with those conditions. I'll second that also. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the final plat of the townhouses of Brookwood Drive with the recommended changes. Any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Okay, number E, annual distribution of the public officials and employees code of ethics. You all have that in front of you. And do we have items for next agenda? We will have items for next agenda. I don't know what they are, but we do have items. So, okay. We have, we have to be ethical before you know that? You have to be ethical all the time, Ken. You know that. Okay. I'd just like to know, is everybody here for the next meeting? Or Usually we don't have a big audience. Yeah. <laughs> <So> <laughs> next meeting we don't have any audience. <laughs> Probably next. Okay. Okay, we need a motion to adjourn. We'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Motion and a second to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. We are adjourned. Thank you.